hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the joint is subjected to the axial member force of six kip determine the average normal stress on section a b and b c assume the member is smooth and is 1.5 inch thick so now as you guys can see that here we have this joint uh, which is subjected to a six kip force so what will happen is that this six kip force is pushing the joint right so what will happen that this at this cross section ab we will have the force in this direction which will be applied by this part right on towards the right and here we will have the normal force so we can show those forces here so we will have fab here and we will have a normal force here right like this so we will have normal force on bc so to find the average normal stresses we must find fab and we must find nbc now you guys can see that here we have 20 degree angle this is given here right so if we have 20 degree angle here let me draw a line here if if this angle is 20 degrees and if i draw a line perpendicular to this pink line let's say if i draw a line here so this line this line is perpendicular to this line and this and bc is perpendicular to this line so if the angle between this line and this line is 20 degrees then the then the angle between NBC and this line is 20 degrees as well. So we can say that this angle is 20 degrees as well. So now we can resolve NBC into its components. So we will have we will have one component of NBC in this direction. This one will be the cos component. We can say this one will be NBC cos of 20 degrees. And then we will have one component in this direction. This one will be the sine component. This one will be NBC sine of 20 degrees. And similarly, as you guys can see that here we have 60 degree angle. So this means that this six kip force is making 60 degree angle with the horizontal. So we can resolve this six kip force into its components as well. So we will have one component in this direction and we will have one component in this direction. So this component is the cos component since the angle is made here 60 degree. So we can say that this is six kip, uh, six cos of 60 kip. Right, let me write it like this 60 cos of 6 cos of 60 kip and this one is 6 sine of 60 kip so now we can apply the equilibrium condition if I apply the sum of the forces in the y so the sum of the forces in the y must be equals to 0 upward direction is considered to be positive so now we have this and BC cos of 20 this is in the upward direction and similarly this sign component this is in the downward direction so we write minus 6 sine of 60 and there is no other force in the y direction so this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that nbc is equal to 6 sine of 60 divided by cos of 20 so we can say that 6 sine of 60 divided by cos of 20 cause of 20 so this gives us 5.5296 which is 5.53 so nbc is equal to 5.53 kips right now if we apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to 0 so the sum of the forces in the x is equals to 0 towards the right is our positive x then in the x we have this fab so the force which is applied by the cross section of AB on this joint. So we will have plus FAB. Then we have this NBC sine of 20 in the negative X. Towards the left is negative. So we will write minus NBC magnitude is 5.53. We have just determined. So 5.3 sine of 20. And then we have this cost component of 6 kips, which is also in the negative x. So we write minus 6 
cos of 60 this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that f a b is equal to 5.53 sine of 20 plus 6 cos of 60 so we can say that this is 5.53 sine of 20 plus 6 cos of 60 so this gives us 4.891 so f a b is equal to 4.891 kips now the problem says that we have to find the average normal stress acting on section a b and b c so this will be our section a b because this is that a b edge right so this will be our cross section which is sharing that a b so we can say that this is our a b and the f a b will be acting somewhat here like this right so perpendicular to this area so we can say that the average normal stress in a b is equal to f a b which is 4.891 divided by the cross section so this is the cross section for that a b so the problem says that the thickness is 1.5 inch so this thickness is 1.5 inches right so we can say that this area will be this height multiplied by this so this is 1.5 multiplied by 1.5 so we can say that the area is 1.5 square and this is also in inch square right so we can say that this is 4.891 divided by 1.5 square so this gives us 2.174 so we can say if you guys can see this is 4.891 kips right so this is a kip is basically 10 to the power 3 pounds right so we can say this is 10 to the power 3 and this is in inches square so pound per inch square or we can say if this is pound per square inches can be written as psi right so we can say this is 4.891 into 10 to the power 3 psi and if you if we include this kilo then this will be ksi right so we can say this is 4.981 ksi similarly if you want to find the shear stress in in this area which is shared by which is having this edge bc so this will be our bc and we can say that the average stress in bc is equal to again that nbc which is going to act somewhere here like this so we can say this is 5.53 and this is in kips divided by the area so now the area is this multiplied by this so this is 1.5 and this bc is 4.5 so this is 4.5 this is 1.5 so we can say that this area is 1.5 times uh, 4.5 right so we can say this is 5.53 divided by 1.5 into 4.5 so this gives us 0 0.819 0 0.819 ksi so these are the average normal stresses in that uh, ab and this is in that bc right so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for a solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.